welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me turn you guys up a notch. Okay, this is going to be weekend energy. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one story as a collective, okay? And then I'm going to do um, water, earth, fire. I'm just going to give you a card. Um, overall energy. Let me just open my curtain. Uh, kind of unprepared. Um, but mm, if I was to start over, you guys know the drill. Okay. So I throw earth first, fire, water, air. All right, so um, actually, if I had a maca, <clears throat> I know I got a maca somewhere. I had, um, oh my God, Sheldon, I'm so sorry. Sorry, guys. I had, um, minor surgery so it's really hard for me to sit at the desk right this second okay so um we'll do earth what did i say we're gonna do earth fire is it a butt hot water and air okay so, can you guys see that? There you go. Alright. So, there's that. <clears throat> and we'll leave these right in order. So we'll start with Earth. We'll get overall energy <clears throat> for Earth. Um, sip of coffee. But I'm I'm good guys. I'm good. Minor minor surgery, but healing will take, you know, two to four weeks. So I'll be back next week. I just um like I said, I have a hard time sitting at my desk right now. So overall energy for the weekends. Um where is uh, hold on, I'm looking for You know what? We're three minutes in, and I was gonna have. I'm gonna grab a cough drop, a oh, little candy. I almost was like, eh, I'll start over, but you know me. I bought a new candle. It's a honeydew. It's honeydew. Okay. Three minutes, 40. I just want to time stamp it. All right. So earth, fire, water, air. Overall energy for earth. Weekend energy. Overall energy for earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The tower. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Pence, Temperance, Empress, Ace of Wands. So, Earth, I will tell you, I will clarify it. I do feel like something sudden out of the blue. Um, I don't know if I'm really feeling excitement from that or sorrow. So, tell me about the tower. You got the tower. Tell me about the tower, please. And you got the king of pence. So it looks like the masculine 
is experiencing a towel moment. Um, you do have the high font underneath with the two of wands reverse. These cards aren't really reversals, but this is telling me that someone's not really making a decision. It could have to do with the relationship or some type of lesson. Um, so that's what's going on with Earth. <clears throat> Let's get into fire real quick before I do the read for the collective. All right, weekend energy for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wasn't ready. Weekend energy for Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Six of Wands, Three of Pence at the bottom of the deck. So somebody tell me about the Six of Wands. And then we got the Hierophant. So the Hierophant's playing a big role here <clears throat> this weekend. And then with the Seven of Swords. So someone's not saying something about something. Could be shady. Um, doesn't always mean lies, guys. This also talks about the Four of Wands, Two of Swords, another situation about making a decision. So I don't know if you're dealing with strong Taurus energy here, but another major arcana, okay? So you have a feminine and a masculine in this one. There is no one falling from the tower here but Earth, okay? So, but it is regarding a masculine. So this is either has to do with a relationship this weekend, a commitment or a lesson, or you're dealing with somebody who's pretty traditional when it comes to certain stuff. All right, so let's do that. The Six of Wands is a good card, okay? So it could be learning a lesson. It is quicker energy, overall energy for water this weekend. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, please. King of Wands, bottom of the deck, Nine of Pence. So you might be dealing with a fire sign. It is strong masculine energy. Um, tell me about the King of Wands. <clears throat> So now you have two kings out here, and then you got the seven of wands. So this could be somebody who's not really doing much this weekend. You got the four of swords. Could be resting. Um, could be emotional. Could be feeling lonely, left out, like they did something wrong with justice there. Um, or this can be your energy too. But this looks like a little, a little bit of a bickering, or somebody's kind of bickering at you, and you just kind of like look. I can really, you know, chomp your ass out if need be. All right. So, and again, bottom of the deck is the four swords. So not really acting on something either. So if you are in confrontation mode with somebody, um, just leave it be, you know. Looks like fire's going after something. They want something. But I, I just, I feel like there's a lesson here, okay? A lot of masculine energy this weekend, guys. Ooh, I got a canker sore on my tongue and I didn't know it. I hit it with the straw. All right, air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, please. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, weekend energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. King of Cups. Okay, so we literally have three kings out. <sighs> With the Ace, is that the Ace of Pence? Yeah. So, all right. You could be dealing with somebody who's drinking. I mean, that lion doesn't look too happy. Okay. 
You have a King of Pence right here. That's slow mo, not even, not even really moving. All right. You have the Hierophant out twice. You have a Tower. To me, this is somebody who wants to win. Um. So tell me about the King of Cups. But when you get a minute, can you shut my door, please? Yeah. King of Cups, please, for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. <gasps> Max! Come on! My goodness. Tell me about the King of Cups. Sorry about that. There might be some type of destruction. Destruction. And you got the three of swords with the devil at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So looks like, you know, definitely disappointment. Um, some could definitely feel stabbed in the back. The devil at the bottom of the deck with the three of cups and the eight of swords. So you can't get something off your head. Um, there could have been three people here. You do have the three of cups and the three of swords. Again, the devil energy is with this combination with the five of swords is, is not great. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> there's that. Oh, <clears throat> so now we're going to do a collective read. Okay. Let me sip of my coffee. So, like I said, whoa, purge and the divine masculine. I, the the masculine energy is is um. It's almost like you can, I can smell it, but I can't smell it. But I've smelt masculine energy before, and I'm not talking about cologne or sweat. Like, for example, I walked into I got anxiety. It's strange. For example, I walked into this the corner store, and. This is maybe about six months ago, and all the men are in there getting their coffee before work. They're talking to the owner of the store. I live in a small town, so everybody knows everybody, and they were all shooting the shit. And I walked in, and I remember being so overwhelmed, okay? I remember I literally said to all of them, like, I can smell the masculinity in here, and they were all laughing. They really didn't know what it meant, and I, I didn't get into it. I just kind of chuckled and they were like ha, ha 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 you know but it was very overwhelming <clears throat> so there is something overwhelming this weekend with, with a masculine either they're going to be overwhelmed or you're going to be overwhelmed if you're dating good luck you do have a masculine you have a king of wands here in the water energy with the seven of wands. So like arguing, bickering, and you're, you're kind of standing up for what you want. There is something that's upsetting you though with air, okay? I, I really don't know the tower vibe. Um, it is sudden and it is out of the blue. I really do think it's linked to some type of lesson here with the Hierophant because you got the Hierophant here with the six of wands. So this is somebody who wants to be victorious you know, wants to dominate a situation. But with the two of wands reverse, that's making a choice. But um, I'm not seeing anything like that, okay? So just a heads up. You know, some of you, if you're trying to talk to somebody, they might give you the cold shoulder. Overall energy for a collective read. Um, earth, fire, water, air, please. Overall energy. For the collective. Whoa. Divine masculine again. Okay. So it looks like they need to surrender. So... To me, there's definitely a lesson here, bottom of the deck separation. So I'm not saying there's a separation that's going down, but um, there is a masculine energy that needs to kind of like put something to rest here.
whether this is mentally, physically, um, I don't see anything saying right now they're putting anything to rest. It looks like, like I said, like not happy about a situation, um, but wanting to kind of win. This could be moving forward, but it's, it could be strong ego too. Um, but again, look at this one's drinking. This one looks really pissy. Okay. And, you know, someone's hurt. They're disappointed. They feel stabbed in the back. I don't really see anyone playing victim, but, um, They definitely need to put something to rest. And, and honestly, if you try to argue with a masculine this weekend, I wouldn't even bother because they're not even going to respond. You know? Um, like, they'll be like, da da da. If they, if they do respond, it doesn't look like they are because they're pretty quiet here. Maybe they already have, and this is the aftermath. I'm not really sure. But, um,. It's, it's like, don't, don't bother, because they're just, they just, they won't say jack shit, like, you know what I'm saying, like, I wouldn't even, this is like a, not a situation that anyone can win in, alright, we have stop obsessing, you're not the fucking center of the universe, and then you have like the tower cat again, figure your own shit out. See, so I don't know if this is ego, somebody playing the blame game, but stop obsessing, you know, so that that's, that's like ego, you know, at the center of the fucking universe, all right? So, it, like I said, um, it's, it's almost exactly what I just said, like I, it, I wouldn't even bother interacting or arguing if something transpires because this person's not going to do anything. Like, I, I don't know if they think they're better than you. I'm not really quite getting that vibe. But this is a lot of masculine energy that they're making their presence completely known. Um, just trying to figure out how I want to read this next. Let me get one overall card from this deck. And then I'll tell you guys whatever story I see. Overall energy. Weekend's energy. So if you're dealing with an ass, um, don't entertain it because I don't really see anything yet. You have the Hunter of Dreams. Mm. Kind of feel frustration there. So it's someone who's seeking. Okay. Um, I don't know what they're quite seeking. This is somebody who's trying to skip, like skip a step is, is the vibe I'm picking up on. Shaman, they need courage. Okay, so that's not negative. It is somebody who's seeking something, but also needs the courage to do something, act on something, you know, surrender, stop obsessing. You do have the devil. What was the devil linked to? Oh, yeah, the three of cups and the five of swords. The five of swords is never any good. And then the Eight of Pence, somebody's just focused on themselves. This tells me that the energies, I wouldn't say calmer, okay? Um, I gotta shut the door, I'm not gonna use my vacuum. Ooh, I gotta get up slow, guys, sorry. So, I, I definitely wouldn't say calmer. Um, 
it's like someone who's trying to control their situation, their feelings, their direction. It is this is energy of controlling. So it's pulling me to this deck. This deck's all about the X's, the X's and the O's. That I haven't heard that song forever. I forget the name of that. If somebody wants the um somebody wants the oh, I got my phone right here. X's and O's. I forget the name of that song. X and O song. Ellie King. Here's the start of the lyrics. It says for lyrics. X's and O's recorded. No, that's not what I want. Um I don't know. It went away. Um, one, two, three, you're going to run back to me. Climbing over the mountains and sailing the seas. One, two, three, you're going to run back to me. My exes and my O's, they haunt me like ghosts. Want me to make them. They won't let go. Okay, so yeah, somebody's not letting go. It's something like that. Or it's like haunting. Like, could be haunting in your dreams. I had a summer lover down in New Orleans, kept him warm in the winter, let him froze in the spring. Oh, how the seasons go by. Now there's one in California that's been cursing my name. I do remember that song. Cause I found a better lover in the UK, hey hey, and I made my getaway. Okay, so I'm not the best singer, but um, it literally is X's and O's. By Ellie King. Okay. So. So there's that. So there's that energy. So. Anybody want to say anything with this deck? please. Anybody want to say anything with this deck, please? Because I can usually get a vibe of what someone's really trying to say. I wish things could be different. I remember every detail of that day. So somebody's running something over and over in their head. And we need to let go of each other. So this is someone still hanging on to something. I remember every detail that day. So to me, someone's still holding on to pain, regret, decisions. I just want one card explaining all of that. No, not many. All right, nine of pence, ace of cups, four of swords. What really goes this way? So somebody wants something new. They need the courage to do it, but is not doing it, okay? Um, this is somebody who... This combo could be saying self-love and they're resting, but I'm not picking up on that vibe. Maybe for somebody. See, this is somebody definitely going within. I don't know if they're really surrendering. That's more of the hangman energy. Um, to me, this is someone who's being real quiet about what's, what's going to happen next. Especially with the Hermit, the Star, the Seven of Wands again. Having trouble sleeping, lovers, needing to make a decision. Um, so, there's that. So let me try to get a little story. Let's try to get a little story for you. Weekend energy, please. The devil. Great. Could be obsession, could be addiction, could be toxic. Wow, that's a whole lot that came out. 
King of Pence death card four of wands. That, that, uh, I'm not even gonna go there. Um, three more please. Three more for weekend energy. Seven of Cups. I don't know if this is strategizing. To me, it's strategizing right now. I mean, it obviously could be a little bit of confusion, but I don't really feel confusion. Okay, so someone could want a reconciliation. Um, someone's happy with somebody or is portraying themselves that way. But again, feeling stuck, like something's over. So I don't know if someone's trying to keep you in that energy. One more, please. And this looks like, um, it doesn't quite look like healing. Okay, and then we have the Ten of Cups. So I don't know if you're juggling, trying to have strength. There's some type of storm. It, it could be happiness. Um, Ten of Cups is, is typically family. Trying to figure something out. Tell me about this devil. This could be someone obsessed on trying to hash out a family situation. Yeah, Three of Cups and the Two of Swords. So it's not the best scenario. Party and addiction, third party, but see, not making, not making a choice either, and being really defenseful, defensive. Um, tell me about the seven of cups. Because to me, this is strategy, especially with someone that's trying to make a decision here. Yeah, see, Ace of Wands and Eight of Cups, but it would actually go Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands. So, not happy in a situation, you know, definitely moving forward, wanting more with the with the Ten of Cups, you know, because when the Eight of Cups comes out and the Two of Cups, I always like when that combo comes out because you're walking towards something amazing. This, to me, is not saying that quite yet. This is somebody who is trying to get out of a situation in the, the being, I wouldn't say tricky, okay, but next to the Seven of Cups, you know, clearly they're trying to figure this out. Um, they are extremely attracted to somebody, okay, extreme att attraction, especially with the lovers being next, next to the Ace of Wands, in the Death's Reverse, this is somebody who's not accepting that something's over. Um, with the Ace of Cups there, and then the Three of Swords again. So you could have an ex with the Empress being here, because um, it was another woman too, that is not accepting you moving forward, is not happy. Um, I'm saying ex too because we have the Hierophant twice, okay, and we have the Ten of Cups here could be someone you possibly have kids with um you could be moving out this weekend they're moving out and the cause would be third party or too many in people interfering or you're dealing with a, a, an extremely immature energy tell me about temperance so to me see the four cups wanted to come out so it's almost like being rejected tell me about temperance like turning the back um so you could have offered something to somebody or you're about to and they're like no and with temperance being there that's that's kind of spirit's way of um protecting you but with temperance you know patience is required here it looks like you're gonna have a new start it's just gonna take some time like your ships are in so some of you guys are talking with this energy Um, but see, somebody's not saying nothing, but they're worried. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. So it's like picking and choosing. Like you got to pick a path. 
somebody doesn't it's, it's like someone doesn't want to choose like they're ignoring and it looks like the masculine is just ignoring a situation like they just want things to go their way it's like getting down to the point the bottom of something and somebody's not doing that so yeah you could be moving away you're stressed out you could be moving away from a family situation literally moving some of you are going to see family this weekend and you're a little nervous but I really wouldn't worry about it um one more for oh the nine of wands came out see oh <laughs> ten of pence came out tell me ten one more ten of cups um the hangman and the king of swords so now you have every king on the board all right so surprised the emperor's not out so this is telling me the masculine is in every energy this weekend every energy so the first word that came to me is unpredictable and I'm not trying to be negative it's just the the first word that came to me is literally unpredictable um so they do need to surrender they do need to let a situation go I don't know with the ten of pence there if this is somebody worried about their money or if this is an energy with the nine of wands that keeps fighting. It's almost like the energy needs to put the foot down. Tell me about the ten of cups real quick. You have talking, conversating, email. So somebody, you know... I'm going to get one more. Still wants to talk. Figure things out. But see, it's just not wanting to make a decision either. Clarity, truth. So they might be seeing something with the, the hangman. That's too many. Just one more place for the ten of cups. Trying to see what we're dealing with. This could be somebody who wants the Ten of Cups and is wants the fight, but they're like, do I? It could be somebody who's worried about the money. Looks like something needs to end in order for something to start, clearly. It's way too many. You got twin flame, so you might be dealing with energy. That's that's kind of tough energy. Um, you know, I don't really like the whole twin flame scenario or to like read on it, but twin flames are really um, they come into. Uh, I just don't even want to go there. Healing heart, healing from heartache, freedom from a toxic relationship. So see, I don't, I don't think. The heart is healing. We still have the three of swords here, okay? Um, I'm actually going to throw more, one more read for you guys because see if I can get something different for those who are not dealing with this scenario. But this is telling me, like, there's obviously a situation that needs to be walked away from. It's like having to draw the line with the seven of wands, boundaries, okay? And it doesn't look like this energy has the courage yet to do that. It's more, I'm going to worry about me, do things my way, um, see what I'm saying? So it's, it's not, it's not like the greatest energy troops. Um, it, it really does boil down to the masculine having to surrender, like having to pull their shit together and create boundaries. Or things are really going to start crashing. Whether it's work, money. With the tower, you got the king of pence, right? So, you know, the universe might play play takeaway if somebody doesn't pull their shit together. And this could be you regarding a masculine. Pull your shit together. The feminine, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could be doing this to the masculine energy. Um, yeah. 
you can't really go there because it's such masculine energy. And once again, you know, the divine masculine needs to surrender here. So, it's like I kind of wanted to read it that way for you, but it's really the divine masculine that needs to pull their shit together. It's like having the courage. So this is somebody who's stuck with conditioning, traditional standpoints. It, it, it's just, it's like, it's almost like sabotage, you know? Um, but it, it's like you're not the center of the universe. Figure your own shit out. So, I mean, this is somebody who's ego too. This is somebody who keeps going back to somebody acting like they're best friends or just friends like they can make it work like I it's just the underlying vibe it is just it keeps somebody else thinking that something can stay alive and it can't if that makes sense for whoever that message is for so for those who are dating having fun hanging out with friends and you're not involved in that scenario I mean this is still overall energy so on a lighter note in a different scenario let's see what we get passion so something this weekend's gonna kinda like oh codependency. Could be having a one night stand, but it wouldn't be the best idea. Or you could be hooking up with a friend, but this would be telling me one friend is needy and the other one is 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 really not. But like, does that make sense? Um this is still kind of telling me the same thing. Like, even if you're feeling yourself with the passion, um, there's still some type of addiction. There's still something going on with somebody. So it's not like you're going to get too far. I mean, there's a codependent situation. So either you're relying on somebody, somebody else is relying on you. It's, I wouldn't say clicky, but um, be careful because either this is a friend just relying on you I don't even know how to explain it and then you got free yourself and then you have engagement so something could escalate quick with this engagement card with romantic feelings at the bottom of the deck or I, I hate to say it this way for before I even clarify for some of you there's no question Whatever story I just read, you have an amazing connection with somebody and it will escalate. It will go to the next level once somebody frees themselves from a situation, okay? I did want a new story, so I am going to read this differently. But that is clear as day that some of you are still dealing with this, which tells me you're single, you're not in a commitment, you're not with that person. It's probably somebody from your past or somebody you already met. They're still holding on to you or vice versa. Tell me about passion. This could be you um, putting, like, you, you've had enough with the situation too, regardless of... of passion because you would I mean this type of energy you would see this tell me about passion so I'm going to read this um, a couple of different ways I'm, instead of a story I'm going to because it's both I'm going to tell you about passion and then I'm going to tell you uh, both different 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 okay so passion three of cups you could be out and about um Hanging out with your friends, at family, at a party. It could be work. You looks like you'll be attracted to somebody. Um, 
just be careful with the three of cups because that means everybody that means people are sleeping together it's not like the three of pence and then you do have the seven of wands queen of swords and the lovers okay so there could be quite an attraction you have with somebody but somebody could be sleeping with somebody else and that person finds out and they might feel stabbed in the back damn tell me about codependency so this is between you and somebody so I'm meeting these separately but just you know pay attention if, if you're out and about and um, you're partying you know if you don't care if you're in that energy where you're gonna go and get something you know go get it get it girl get a boy have fun be safe um, because there's there's something underlying. I mean, I'm not that person, so don't pass judgment on me. But I'm just saying there's people out there. And if someone lies to you and they're like, oh, I'm not in a situation. Or da -da 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 -da, I may have a crazy ex-boyfriend or a crazy ex-girlfriend. I mean, who knows? You're, you're, you're taking a risk. Um, I'm not. Basically what I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm not condoning it. You know, to go and, and just sleep with whoever. And especially if they're in a relationship. But... Clearly, there's something there. And what codependency, you have the sun. So this is telling me clear as day. You're either dealing with a Leo or you're fully aware that you're in a situation where it's like clingy, attached. Yeah, see, so then you got the chariot. You want to move away from it with the emperor and the king of swords with the hangman. So it looks like it, it's just clicking in for you that... You know, um, you might be attached to an energy you should not be attached to, okay, because it's unhealthy. So somebody's seeing something that they might be in an unhealthy situation, which is good. It would be nice if they surrendered to that. Tell me, free yourself. Free yourself, please. Ugh. So, working on something, slowly moving forward, but you're still holding back, okay? There's some type of secret here, too. So, in, in a lesson with the Six of Swords. Um, the Three of Pence could be too many people in the picture. You could be married with a contract. Um, but you're, you're holding back. You're also, and if you are trying to free yourself, you're you're lying to the other person. Like you you're not. For one, you're not setting boundaries, and you're lying to somebody about wanting to be out of a situation. And it's like you're still holding on to an unhealthy situation. It's like you're slowly moving out, and you're doing you're slowly moving on and doing things your way, but it's it's not cutting it right. And it's like the way you're going about it. Is, is not good. See, somebody might want a second chance and you're like, fuck it, I'm walking away. All right, but with the Eight of Wands reverse, it's, it's not good interaction, okay? So tell me about engagement. So some of you are engaged or you might get engaged. You would obviously be in a good situation. So, yeah, you could be younger than somebody with the the princess showing up with the king of wands. Um, or it's going on a new path with somebody, you know, making that decision at the bottom of the deck to put a ring on someone's finger or clearly walk this path. Now, if I was to read this story all together, ugh, I don't even want to. It's, it's like the same story. You could just have a Leo that depends on you, your money, your time, your affection, ten of wands. Yeah, see, this is somebody who just doesn't want to be left behind, you know. So they're still making the, their presence known, which is, you know, up to you to fix that situation. You got the world, but it, it doesn't look like you're putting your foot down and you, sh and you should be. 
right? And I can say that clearly because it says free yourself, but you're still holding on. It's like you're slowly moving away with the Six of Swords, but you're still holding on to something toxic. And if I am going to combine them, it looks like you have somebody else. And it's like pick a path, pick and choose. What are you doing? You, you got to make sacrifices. And it looks like there's a masculine energy that's just not willing to quite <sighs> sacrifice something yet, unfortunately. Um, so that's the weekend energy. I'm going to pull one lesson card. Weekend energy, please. Grateful. All right, be grateful for what you have and what opportunities you could have. So these are lessons. So somebody's either ungrateful or they're feeling grateful. We have the blame game, so take responsibility. So you're either going to take responsibility or not, and it's for guiding your own happiness. I'm aware that this means I'm on the right path if you're happy, but no one's happy here. But you have the opportunity to go in a new direction and, and be happy. Be grateful you have an opportunity to do that type energy, okay? And, and stop blaming other people, you know, figure your own shit out. You know, take the blame, move forward. To me, that's like somebody who just excuses. You know, so you're in control over your own happiness. So take control over it. You can be happy or you can be sad. You can take the blame or you can blame someone else. You can be grateful or you can sit in petty shit, you know. Um, ultimately, it is up to you. Yeah, see, it is either sabotaging a situation or you're lying. This is somebody with the hermit with the seven of swords that doesn't want to take blame. For what they did. They ain't saying jack shit. So. Good luck out there. I mean it doesn't look awful. It just looks like. Somebody's not. You know. Someone's not. Doing what needs to be done. This is somebody staying in the same path. The same road. Dealing with the same shit. Constantly having to either, not constantly, but somebody who always feels the need to defend themselves, you know, um, you are dealing with somebody who doesn't want to take the blame for something. They ain't saying jack shit, really. It, it's kind of ignorant, um, but it looks like they have an opportunity or you have an opportunity to be grateful and, and go in a new direction with happiness. It looks like you have something there. It's just someone's not quite making the moves. You know, they're, they're too busy doing, putting their focus elsewhere. It is, this is basically telling me somebody just doesn't want to make moves. Somebody doesn't want to acknowledge something they should be doing because this energy feels like they're doing something the right way and you know regardless it, it does look like the universe is going to interfere with the tower so um let me just look at the tower real quick to see if this is somebody who's actually going to do something. Because right now I'm looking at all these damn kings. Every king came out. You have the king of the king of wands. It looks angry. You have another one that's just drinking. You got one whose back is turned. You got another one who's got a big ego here. You got one that's, you know, just sitting around doing nothing. All right? So... Good luck with that, guys, if you're dealing with this masculine this weekend. 
somebody who thinks they're in charge hides hides their feelings what they truly want you know that's too many tower please yeah so this this could be a little bit of an awakening with the nine of pence this could be somebody well this could be telling me you're just about to be single but it's also with the hangman here. I don't think you're changing your perspective. I didn't see that. Like, you, it's like you're purposely hanging something up. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, you're dragging your feet. To me, this is saying ego right now. That's not confidence. What's this nine of pence? This is like, I'm single. I don't need to do anything. Like, the, this. that's like stubborn ass energy. You know, so the tower is going to come in and, and try to do something. Yeah, see? Nine of Pence with the Seven of Swords. So, like I said, it, it's, it's like someone's wearing a mask. Like, they're coming off, like, strong and badass. But it's, it's like they're only sabotaging a situation. You know, so it, it's... Or, or lying about a situation. It's like not putting the foot down, not having clear boundaries, not telling the truth, not telling somebody how it is. It is it's, I don't know if somebody's trying to prevent somebody from being sad or hurt. Um, it really is just energy of like not being true to yourself. Literally not putting your foot down. Staying in shit energy, drinking, anger, sorrow, defense mode, shut down, conditioned, my way or the highway. It, it, it really is somebody who thinks they're above other people sometimes. It, it is what it is. Um, so if you're content dealing with this energy, then, then go ahead. But, um... I personally would not want to <laughs> be dealing with this energy. That's my opinion. Whether there's a lesson here or not. Because someone's not picking up on it. Literally. My way. This is somebody who thinks they have control. And, and it, they don't. Be careful because the universe is involved with the tower and, well, they need to be careful because something, you know, it looks like the universe is going to let them, it, it's almost like they're going to let them play themselves. First thing that came to me is calm as a bitch, you know, this is somebody definitely learning the hard way. All right, y'all. I love you so much. Have a fantastic weekend. Bye guys.